Get ready to hear the NPR Music X and the Earpiece Music Pro. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Stephen Taddy from the Hearing Tracker Podcast. If you're enjoying these videos, please take a moment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other content. As I mentioned before, today we are taking a look at the NPR Music X by Earpiece. And I wasn't exactly sure where this device came from other than a collaboration with NPR back in February. However, I reached out to Earpiece and they did indicate that the NPR Music X is the same as the Music Pro with the high level protection filter. I like these devices, but honestly, my favorite thing was the carrying case that came with them. And my reasoning for that is the best hearing protection device for most people is the device that you'll actually wear. And if you don't have it with you, you're not gonna wear it. So if you get a metal carrying case like this and you connect it to your keys, chances are you will always have it with you, so it won't be a barrier. It's made from a military grade aluminum, so it should withstand day-to-day -day use, and it does have rubber O-rings, so the inside should stay dry. I have lots of thoughts on these devices, but I don't wanna bias you, so let's get to those recordings so you can hear them for yourself. Before we hit play, here is your headphone warning. Be sure to put on a good set of headphones as these recordings are binaural, meaning that they emulate you actually wearing the hearing protection device. Now for the record, those recordings were identical to my subjective listening experiences. I found the Music X to be very comfortable and to offer a modest amount of protection. However, I honestly wasn't all that impressed with the sound quality. When I first put them in, they sounded more like a traditional industrial-based hearing protection device where the high frequencies are really attenuated. And normally that's not what you want when you're talking about a high fidelity earplug for musicians. Now that's not to say that these are bad hearing protection devices as there are several use cases such as drummers, louder instruments, louder venues, or people who are more sensitive to loud sounds where these devices would work perfectly. However, if you are looking for the most transparent and linear attenuation, these might not be the devices for you. With that said, I was only able to try out the higher protection filter and not the lowest level that they offer. So maybe that does offer a more flat profile. Don't forget to check out my full review on hearingtracker.com where I include all of my thoughts, more recordings, objective measurements, and tips for you to get the most out of your hearing protection devices. Also, if you're enjoying these videos, you might want to check out the Hearing Tracker podcast where we talk about innovative new hearing technologies. And I always try and include actual sound samples of those technologies within the episodes. Thanks for watching and please share your thoughts, comments, experiences with these devices down below. I'm also always looking for new hearing protection devices to test. So if you have an idea, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and take care.